Hello, I'm James Paris, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the Caliber Interactive Run Set settings so that Caliber always runs multi threaded and hyperscaling modes. In this example, I have Caliber Interactive interface to Synopsys IC compiler. When I launch Caliber DRC, the Caliber Interactive GUI opens, and I can change my options that I need to set, such as my rule file. But then I also need to go and change the run control options so that I run multi-threaded and hyperscaling. I can also take care of this warning message when I change the defaults. The Caliber Interactive user documentation has a lot of information about run sets and also has a table of all the Caliber Interactive run set variables and their values. So I'll search for run set options and in the table of contents, I can find the section about common run set options. And then I'll search for hyper to take me to the hyperscaling option. And it's a Boolean 01 for on or off. And below that, I can see the multi-threading option to enable multi-threading. Now I'll search for overwrite, which will take me to the run set option to control overwriting the GDS file. Now that I know the Caliber Interactive run set variables and the values, I can create a defaults file so that I'll have these options set every time I launch Caliber Interactive. Create a new defaults file in your home directory named .cgidrcdb.def. In this defaults file, we'll enter the variable names that I want to change and the values I want to change it to. Now I'll close Caliber Interactive and restart it from the Caliber menu in IC Compiler. This time when Caliber Interactive starts, I'll re-enter my rule file. Then when I check the run control, I can see that both the multi-threading and the hyperscaling options have been set. When I click the Run DRC button, I don't get that warning message anymore. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to set the Caliber Interactive defaults. Goodbye.